Tragic proof tonight of just how dangerous illegal fireworks can be. A house on Woodcroft Street near Azusa was gutted by a fire, and it all started with fireworks. KKL 9's Erica Nocklin is live at the scene with details on what happened. Erica? Yeah, Lena, this house fire left a family of five homeless tonight. The Red Cross is helping them out, but their home is just destroyed. It's right behind this house, and you can still see the charred palm tree right above it. Devastating consequences of last night's fireworks. Intense flames filling the home of a family of five on the 4th of July, all because of illegal fireworks. The flames forced the family out, along with their landlord in the front house, who told me his son got him up just in time. He'd come up and yelling at everybody. He was screaming. He was a fire in the back. Now he's hoping insurance will help him rebuild while his tenants, with three children who have lived here for seven years, get help from the Red Cross. All of them are still in shock. You never know if you're going to be, you're going to feel sad, you're going to be uh, mad or anything. Fireworks were not allowed at all this year here in the unincorporated area around Azusa, but neighbors say illegal fireworks still filled the sky all night. I would just describe it like a war zone. And all the way around, there was there was boom, 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 boom. Sky was lighting up. Some neighbors blame kids near the house. People were sending it off in the washway behind where the sewage water goes. And we saw the remnants of fireworks still on the ground. You can even hear what sounds like more fireworks during a witness interview that night. Came over here to make sure they're okay. And uh, I guess they're okay. Next door neighbor Liz Perez says she tweeted police about the problem a couple hours earlier, then watched as the flames inched toward her home. Of course, it's nerve wracking. So I just heard screaming and I came outside. Um, and that's when I saw the flames coming over the wall. And they're glad no one was hurt this time. But hope those celebrating next year will remember that family of five forced from their home. The LA County Sheriff's Department said they got hundreds of calls about illegal fireworks last night, but it's simply impossible to get to them all. And Lena and Susie, we are still hearing some fireworks going off here in this neighborhood tonight, even after all this. Back to you. Okay.